eat anything? How's life in the hot springs? Need anything else? Can I get anything else for you? Good choice. Yeah, all right. I'll be here. No! Damn it! Stop! Stop! Knock it off! Yeah? Hey, Doc. So, am I on your trust list, or no? Deke, uh... I... Uh... I need you to go after someone. Go after someone? Okay, what's going on? Right after you brought in that girl, Lisa. Larson brings in another one. Name was Rose Allen, a weak little thing. But we figured she could pull her own weight, help us get this irrigation ditch done. Uh, okay, so what do you, what do you need? She's gone. She went on a supply run with Alki. Some others up to that abandoned Nero refugee camp. You know the one, I, I think you've been up there before. Yeah, 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 I know the one. Find her, Deke. There's been a bunch of drifters and squatters spotted up that way. If if they find her first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm I'm going to see what I can do. Can I help you? Uh, just having a look. Get the letter. There you go. See ya. See ya. I didn't do anything. All right. I've had enough. Hey. Let's get the gate. How's, it, How's going? it going? What's so, new? Mm-hmm. Yeah. See you soon. I got a drift door, too. We'll stop by now and then. John Salome Hot Springs. Talk to you there. Yeah, Deke. I'm here. Hey, I'm at that location where the girl was last seen. Looks like they uh, got hit by a swarm. She was here. Oh, God damn it, swarmers. Like 
be here somewhere, right? <laughs> it's nothing like scrap. Like the swamp tore them apart. <laughs> Poor bastards. Rose? Rose Allen, right? No! no. Hey, 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 I'm not gonna hurt you. See, I'm uh, not with those assholes. I'm here to help. Tucker sent me. Wait, wait, I said that I am here to help you. No, you're with her. You're from the work camp. No, no, I'm with Tucker. I, uh, I, I do runs for, yeah. They starved me. I wouldn't follow her orders, so they wouldn't feed me. Woman, well, I mean, it's a work camp. I mean, everyone's got to work. I'm not a slave. I'm not going back, do you hear me? I'd rather die out here. Okay, 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 goddammit. Go on.
Tucker. Tucker, Deacon St. John to... Deacon St. John to Ada Tucker. Deke, did you find her? Uh, yeah. That's how I found her. Uh, she's on her way back. Wait, you let her go? Alone? Well, she took one of the squatter's bikes. She said that she was going to be able to find her way. She, look, she didn't want my help. Oh, God damn it, Deke. You should have brought her in. Well, why, Todd? Why? Is there something wrong? I mean, is there something she... No. No, of course not. It's just... A kid like Rose. She doesn't have a goddamn clue about what's out there. Well, I don't know, Todd. Maybe she does. St. John out. Sniper on the road. Oh, goddammit. Ah! Shit. Perfect timing. Ambush her, yeah? <laughs> Shit. Engine crapped out. I can't fix this.
on the road, damn it. Lisa, I... Go away. Uh, brush or something. It's beautiful. Will you take me with you? Take me back to Marion Forks. Look, I, I can't, because it's not safe. I gotta turn in. They make us get up really early for work. Get it.
off that rock. Oh yeah, she was thrilled. She made her day. I bet. Who's her out? Boundaries. St. John, stop by Peaceful Lake when you get a chance. Copeland, I hear you. St. John out.
Hey, me again. Boozer says that I shouldn't come up here anymore. He keeps asking me what goods it do, and, and maybe he's right, I don't know. He got hurt pretty bad the other day. We ran into some rippers who burned the hell out of his arm, and it looks pretty bad. I broke into one of those, uh, uh, what the hell do you call them, the mobile medical units, and I got him sterile bandages. And I hope it's enough, you know? But Boozer, you know, he says he's fine, but I, I, don't, I don't think so. Shit looks pretty bad to me. See, the thing is, it was on me. I risked his life for a bike part. Goddamn bike part. Not that it mattered, son of a bitch Copeland parted it out anyway. <sighs> Took me a year to put that bike together. You would have liked it. It's not as nice as the one that I taught you to ride on, but it got me around. You remember that tank that you had painted for me? Well, that was the only thing left of that old hog, and now it's gone too. As soon as we get it back together, my bike, I mean, I can get Boozer patched up. We're gonna ride north. Fresh start. You know, a lot of memories around here. Too many. Anyway, I guess I'm just saying that, uh, I might not see you again. You know?
There, there. There, there. Ah, what the... Oh, Jesus, ah. Better have a look around, Deke. Hey, uh, you're not answering the radio. Yep. I know, I was... Well, hold on, hold on. No, I'm all right, I'm all right. Just... I'm trying to get clear, you know? You're burning up. Ugh, my head's pounding like a mother. You're burning up. No, 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 I'm just, I'm just tired. Okay, stay here, rest. I'll think of something. Look, I don't need a goddamn babysitter, I'm fine. Here, come here, I'll show you what you're looking for. Uh, yep, found it. <laughs> All right, come on, focus. I am focused. All right, so this one is called Lavandula Angustifolia. Lavender? Yes, well, I'm still paying off my student loans, so I will stick with Latin, mm -hmm. but you can call it that. Yeah, get your money's worth, go for it. <laughs> okay, come on, give me your hand. <sighs> All right, so you want to put one hand around the flower. All right. And then put the other hand at the stem. Okay. Just like that, and then you pull nice and slow. You know, I pulled weeds before. Uh, excuse me, sir, this is not a weed. You have to be gentle. But apply pressure. Oh, yeah, but not too hard. <laughs> okay, ready? Mm-hmm. Go. There you go, that's perfect. <laughs> and it doesn't smell very good. Okay, you hold on to those, and I'm gonna collect more. <laughs> so, uh, why lavender? Well, the guys at the lab are pretty excited. They, they think they have this subspecies, which might have mutated monoterpenoids, which produce a modified linalool that... That is so... Oh, my... Thank you, Einstein. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. It has a chemical that we can use to synthesize a new medicine for burn patients. Where I'm from, the only weed used for medicine is the kind that you smoke. You know, Boozer knows a guy with a farm that's about three miles up the road. Oh, that's great. Boozer's gonna wind up in prison and take you with him. <laughs> so what else do you guys make? Like chemical weapons, WMDs, shit like that? No, 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 no. Well, at least not me. Yeah? It's in my contract. None of my research can be used for military purposes.
Hey, there's more over here. Wait, stop. Oh, come on, the water's yeah. gonna be great. Hold, hold on, hold on. What's wrong? Well, I, I didn't mean stop that. <laughs> come on, what is it? It's a long story. Well, it's okay. We can just walk. I like walking. So, why don't you tell me about your plants? Really? Okay. Well, this particular genus is adventitious. You want me to ask? It means not native to this area. You can thank Ogden for that. Who? Oh, shit, I asked. Peter Skeen Ogden, first explorer to come through this part of Oregon. He and some of the other early explorers brought all their medicinal herbs and plants with them. Some got away, and now they're growing here. Mostly along the shores of small lakes and ponds. First white explorer. Wow, look at you. Being all politically correct. Don't buy into all the biker stereotypes you see on TV. We are actually quite charming. I bet. The MC's got a couple of brothers. One fully patched. I don't think I've seen one person of color since I arrived in your strange little backwater paradise. Yeah, Jack actually had some guys bust in from Sacramento just to piss off our skinhead rivals. He did not. <laughs> no, he did not. I'm kidding. Jersey Jim's an old buddy of mine. Patched him and myself. We served in the same unit. Come by the clubhouse Sunday. I'll show you around. You like the guy. He's funny as shit. He makes a mean margarita. Well, I have to be in the lab early on Monday, so... I'll have us back in your bed by 10. I promise. How can I refuse an offer like that? Okay, you try picking some now. Lavender. You, you want me to pick lavender? Yep. And bring me three plants and don't crush them. Oh, I'm gonna crush them. <laughs> Come on. Uh, got one. Good for you. This one? Yep, keep going. Last one. Great, bring him here. <sighs> oh. <Good> for you. <laughs> wow, gallantry is alive and farewell after all. Oh, if it's <laughs> not, then I didn't kill him. <laughs> hey, oh, 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 oh. Aww, poor guys. Hey, is that the one we're gonna smoke later? No, but this is the one we're gonna drink. I make this killer herbal tea with it. I'll bet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, all right, if you come over, then I will make it for you, as long as you give me a ride home. All right, great. You're gonna be a believer. And we'll grab a beer for myself on the way over. <laughs> Sorry, uh, I'm a little out of it. Wait, you said something? It's uh, it's something Sarah showed me a few summers ago. Before. Yeah. Anyway, uh, there's a plant that grows out here called lavender. It grows in the shade, along rivers, lake shores. I'm gonna see if I can find some. Shit, brother. The way my arms feel, I'll try anything. But fuck the lavender. Bring something I can smoke. Whatever. I'm gonna find some of this shit. I'm gonna make a burn sap out of it. You're gonna shut the hell up about it. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry, brother. Just don't stir crazy up here, you know? Ah, don't worry, Moose Man. We're riding north, I swear to God, not too much longer. You hear me? Yeah, now. There? 
Had some time on my hands? Made you some shit? Boozer, thank you. Yeah, I'll stop by when I can. Peeking out. Hey, Boozer. Uh, God damn it! Uh, it's a funny thing. I, I was remembering how uh, a few summers back, Sarah took me out to Bear Creek. We were picking lavender, and uh, she Listen. taught <laughs> she taught me how to make this set for Burns. And uh, look, I got out today. Okay, I actually had a look around the mountain. I cleared some traps. The arm's almost as good as new. All right. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it right here. Hey, hey, just give me a couple days, okay? Just ride up north like you said and get out of this shithole. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, I'm here. What's up? We got hit. And hard. Rippers. A couple of dozen, maybe more. Goddamn rippers. That little gal you were so worried about? 
Yeah, Lisa. Wait, hold on. What happened? Where's Lisa? Gone. They took her and three others. Alki followed him as far as he could. But they're holed up at Belknap Crater. He came back to round up more men, but... God damn it! Okay, look, I've seen what those sons of bitches do to hostages. I'm not waiting. It's okay. Opening the gate. You, uh, need something, man? Manny, what's going on? Yep. Always needing fuel. Drifter life. Nope. Peek. Good. Got something you might be interested in. Yeah, don't bet on it, Cope. I'm busy. Too busy to hear about a ripper camp? Here? In the Cascade Wilderness? Rippers up here? <sighs> Where? Thought you might be interested. I heard how you and Boozer got hit by him. In fact, I haven't seen Boozer around much, have I? Where, Cope? Up by Separation Meadow. Flack, you know her, don't you? Saw him firsthand. Past their camp when she was out on a supply run. Don't worry. <sighs> you don't take care of him. Hey, man. Good to see ya. Hey there. Yes. You do the killing. I'll do the counting. Hey. See. What do you need? Hey. What can I get what you? You, you got a problem? Is that all you need? Okay. Later, man. Just a sec. Gotta open the gate.
Who's man? Wake. Who's her? Yeah, I think. I'm just feeling a little out of you know. Look, I'm on my way out to separation ladder. Hope says there's a river camp over there. Rivers? This far north? Yeah, who's her? What's going on with these guys? Alki said the Rippers were looking for us, that we had a price on our head. What the hell? How's that possible? I mean, sure, I've, I've killed my share of crazy bastards, but I never went out of my way. Uh, not that I remember. Yeah, that's what I thought. Rippers. Deacon out. Life has What are you doing in here? My Baba! Ah! 
Stopping off. Tricks on me. I saw something. Cope, it's done. The rivers up here won't bother anyone. Else. St. John, that's good news. I talked to Manny the other day, some of the others. I know you've been doing things for the camp. I just wanted to say thank you. Mark Copeland out. Find that Ripper camp? Yeah, Boozer. I found it. You think... You think they were up here looking for us? I don't know, Boozman. I was too busy stopping them and cutting my eyes out to ask. Sorry, brother. We should have been there. Sure, man. Yeah, I know. Deacon out.
at this point, the hell is the girl? If you've hurt her, I swear to God. Who am I kidding? I'm gonna fucking kill you all whether you hurt her or not. Hang on, Lisa. I'm coming. What's this? Lisa's? Sure as hell don't belong to a goddamn river. Small footprints. Girl's size. It's gotta be Lisa. She was dragged through here. If you've hurt her, you sons of bitches, I'm gonna kill every last one of you. Yeah! Why don't you find the path? They're dead, asshole. They won't be joining your goddamn cult. Free rule the world, huh? Not if they're all dead. No, she's not in here. Where are you, Lisa? She's gotta be out here somewhere. Need some release. So many. Too many to count. To join them. To be one of them.
this way. She's got to be this way. You are not. him down! Up here? They dragged her up here. Yep. Place has gotta be up there. I must follow the path. I see. I will burn you away! Lisa. Lisa? Hey. Sweetheart. No! Hey, hey, no! hey! Shut up! Shut up! 
It's, it's me. It's Deacon. Remember? Deacon? Okay. All right. That's all right. It's all right. Come on. You okay? Damn it, can you run? Do you know where the visitor center is? All right, that's where my bike is. I need you to run air as fast as you can. Don't stop. Don't stop. All right, don't stop no matter what. You ready? Huh? Go. Run! We're safe now. Are you okay? No. Listen to me, to the south of here, there's a camp at Lost Lake. It's nothing like the Hot Springs. Iron Mike, he's not like Mrs. Tucker. I hated Mrs. Tucker. <laughs> no, you wouldn't be alone there. This is a nice camp, and it's a safe place. Okay. Hold on. Ricky! Ricky, come back. Ricky, are you still on this channel? Lost Lake Camp, come in. Deacon? Ugh, long time no here. What do you want? Just meet me, okay? On the Cascade Highway where it intersects with the old Belknap Road. I'm heading there now. You know what Iron Mike said? The night you and Booze were out of here? Uh, oh yeah, that. Uh, listen. That's why I radioed you and not Schizo. Iron Mike doesn't even have to know about this. I got a kid here. What? Well, I mean, not a kid. Uh, a survivor. She's been out here a long time. You've got a survivor, and you're bringing her to Lost Lake. No, you're bringing her to Lost Lake. I'm bringing her to you. Ricky, you there? Yeah, okay. I'm on my way. Lost Lake out. Ricky? 
yeah, okay, you're welcome. You're gonna like it there, kid. Like I said, Iron Mike, he's, um, uh, he likes to yell a lot. Look, don't let him bother you. Got that? Uh, anyway, there's this guy named Schizo. If he bothers you at all. Well, just tell Ricky. Or, uh, tell Addie. She's the camp's doctor. You tell her. And Addie's, she's good. She's got medicine, you know, to clean up those, uh, to clean up those cuts. I mean, you don't want to get infected. They're gonna help you out, kid. You can count on them, even if you, uh... Hey, Ricky. Hey, Deep. I'm surprised. What, did Tucker give up the slave trade? Uh... Lisa, this is, uh, Ricky. She's gonna, uh, take you to a safe place. Nothing has changed, Deke. Iron Mike is not gonna pay you for this. Pay me for- oh, come on. That's not- excuse me. That's not what this is about. It's not about collecting a bounty or anything. You just- mm -hmm. you just take her. Huh? What's wrong with her, Deke? What's wrong with her? She was- had a run in with some rippers. I had to- Oh, my God. Hey, Lisa. Hi, I'm Ricky. Listen, do you like to go fishing? I love fishing. It's, it's my favorite thing in the whole wide world. Would you want to go fishing with me? Yeah? Come on, I'm gonna tell you about Lost Lake. It has the clearest water you have ever seen. And the fish, oh my God. The fish in the morning, they jump this high. I'll show you. When we go, we're gonna have such a good time. Make sure you hold on tight, okay? Ready? I really appreciate it. There? Had some time on my hands, made you some shit. Blues man? Thank you, brother. Uh, I'll be by. They're coming. Oh, they're gonna... They won't know. I mean, they're on me. Sugar? Lizard, what's going on? No! How'd you get in here? Whoa, 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 whoa. You stay right there! Lizard, it's me. You stay there. It's Deke. Let's just Don't calm down. Don't come any closer. Let's just I talk. will kill you. It's all right. Oh, oh my God! With you. Ah! Take on, buddy. No, I will not! Ah! Ah! Oh, shit. Oh, Jesus Christ. Boozer, what the fuck? I... I heard, I heard him. I heard voices. Oh shit! Oh, shit. You, you, you heard him, right? No, I didn't hear shit, Boozer. You no, blood poisoning. I, I do not. Yes, you do, Boozer. Just take a look. I don't need to take a look. Come on, we gotta get you some help. Look, I don't need some. Come on. I don't need help. <sighs> I'm sorry about that. About trying to blow your head off. I mean, no, I thought I saw something, you know? Easy. Hey, watch the steps. 
I got this. But it was it was in my head, you know. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I could hear him, Deke. I I could hear him, Deke. Footsteps just pounded in my head. Boots. Just a few more steps. I don't need any help. I can goddamn walk. I can walk. Okay. Okay. I, I just... I don't, I don't know what happened. I, I saw... Yeah. Now, come on. Come on. Get on. We gotta go. Wait. Wait, wait. What? Where are we going? I, I don't... It's just a short ride, Boozer. It'll help clear your head. Right? Yeah, yeah, okay. That'd be good. There, okay. Where are we going? Deke. You remember when we first rode out of Farewell? What that was like? Yeah. I remember. The highways were, they were all choked up with cars. There were so many people. All on the move, thinking that if they could only go fast enough, that they'd outrun what was coming. Yeah. No one could move fast enough, Boozer. No one saw it coming the way I did. So by the time they said, fuck it, you know, and started walking and then running, it was too late. Too late. And I remember watching the freaks. Watching them all come, thousands of them. And all those, all those dumb shits just got swallowed up. Yeah, I remember. When you see a thing like that, you know it's only a matter of time. Before it's our turn. Nothing's gonna stop it, Boozer. Not a goddamn thing, but... But do you know why we keep going? No. Because what the hell else are we gonna do? Yeah. The soldiers I have. Oh, <laughs> what are you doing? Nothing. Uh -huh. Figured you'd get all purdied up before heading in. Oh, uh, you know. Yeah, I figured I'd 
Stopped in the lodge, had a few beers, and then just strolled into the infirmary. No, 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 I'm just, just sick of it. Yeah. No. I don't care, I'm just fucking with you. Hey, Deke. Hmm. I'm Mike said he'd kill you if he ever saw you again. Uh, and if he said that it... That old man doesn't remember his name half the time. No, no, no. Hey, He'll hey. remember. You gotta stay awake. We're off the open road, but if a freak or wonders oh, yeah, 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 I know. Mm. All right. Hey, Deke. Yeah? Don't you kill anyone in the camp, okay? I'm not gonna kill anyone. You good? Never better. Let's go back. There's nothing here. You heard the bike, same as me. Probably some drip. Not worth dragging me out here. Shit, we're supposed to guard the camp, not wander around Johnny. jerking off. Could have been rippers. Oh, against the two Johnny. of us? Really? We could get them before they... No. No, no, no. See, that's what we thought, too. Uh, me and this guy, Addy's brother, Shouldn't we went out on patrol. We were not far from here, really. We kept to the shadows. It was night, but the moon was out. You know rippers love the night. We heard them coming first. Shrieking like freakers. They were coming straight out of hell. God, that sound. There, there were maybe four we could see. So we opened up on them. They don't, they don't even try not to get shot. The thing is, they weren't going down. They just kept running at us. My boy got one of them down, pulled his knife to finish the job. Shit, I should have told him to forget. Two others climbed right on him. I fired them. You fired? Yeah, I killed them. They were tearing him apart like goddamn freakers. I fired and got the hell out of there. So, you go after Rippers, you better have back. I saw something. What's that? Here! Here! What's up? Oh, shit. Iron Mike. Joe's got Schizo. scars all along his head. Son of a bitch. Like he were trying to scalp him. Raymond? And the men we buried, they were butchered, Mike. Butchered. Christ, it took us three hours to rake up all the body parts. I didn't want to leave him for the freaks. Raymond? It's Carlos, and you so know it. We gotta get him back. The rippers are gonna... Rip Schizo, leave it be. Just leave it be. And what about the next one? And the next. Hell, Carlos is already pushing into rogue camp. Camp Pioneer. There's no proof of that. They're moving up north. I heard one of those radio free organ broadcasts. 
claims they got hit by rippers. So now you're listening to that nut job, Copeland. Well, he may be a nut job, but I think he'd know a ripper if one was coming at him with a butcher knife. They're not here, but you can go in and see for yourself. We'll come back. You know, Addy don't like it, you snooping around in her business. Hey, you said it. Not me. I'm not laughing. There come it is. On. Just gotta find a way inside. Here. I wanna talk to those men myself. Well, it's just a waste of breathing. Addy will take care of it. You think, uh, Addy and Ricky are a thing? Why? You trying to get with them? Or is this going in? What about the next one? Next curious. Hell, Carlos is already pushing into road camps. Camp Pioneer. Got it. <laughs> ah, damn it. <laughs> Hi, Ricky. Hi, Addy. Uh, I don't want any trouble, so if you ladies just step aside, I'll show you. No, no, what the, what the hell are you doing, doing in doing? my no, infirmary? Uh. Oh, are you gonna shoot me now? <gasps> Oh, wait, wait, there's a code, right? You can't shoot a woman unless you have to. Well, now you have to. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, look, why don't you just let me explain? Check what's in the cooler. <sighs> what are you, selling narcotics for Tucker now? You know, when you brought me that girl, I thought you had changed. But clearly you haven't. No, it's not narcotics. What? It's antibiotics. Boozer's sick. He's got blood poisoning. I had no place else to go. Blood poisoning? What happened? Does it matter? I fucked up. Bring him in. Go and get him. Bring him here. No, we can't do that. Yes, we can. Look, I don't care who he is, and I don't care what Iron Mike thinks. When a man is sick, a man is sick. We have to look out for each other. Baby is all we got. Come on, I'll give you a ride. <laughs> I... Which way we headed? You remember there was a small camp when we first rode into the valley? Yeah, I remember. You call this a bike? It may not be a fancy drifter bike, but it gets the job done. Get on. A couple of guys burned out in the nest a few weeks back. No. So, how's she doing? The girl that I brought in, Lisa. Are you, are you gonna take me to see her? No. God damn it, Ricky. What, what the hell? Why not? I can't. She's not here. Wait, wait, hold on for a second. Where is she? A few days ago, Schizo assigned her to a scavenge hunt. She and three others headed over to the rope camp to look for supplies. They came back without her. You're telling me they left her? They left her out the shit? They didn't leave anyone. They said she ran off. Jesus! It could have been anything. Wolves, freaks, rippers. Choose your poison. What? What? What was Schizo thinking? Sending her out on a supply run? Everyone's gotta work, Deke. That's the deal, and you know it. I don't believe this shit. What? 
She'd been surviving in Marion Forks for years when I found her. Yeah, then maybe you should have left her there. Who's there? Get back, don't make me blow your goddamn Who's head there? off. It's me. No, get back! Oh. Hey. Hey, it's, uh, it's Ricky. <laughs> you remember me? I rode with you guys a year ago. Ricky. What? Tumalo? Yeah. That's for Tumalo to Lost Lake? Yeah. Yeah. Hold up, hold up. That's right. How, how you doing there, loser? You doing uh, all right? PG. It still didn't give you the right to steal our shit. Are you kidding me? Look at his arm. What was I supposed to do? Huh? I don't know. Maybe ask. Jesus. Look at you guys, the biker boys. The most badass drifters in this shit, right? And now you come back crawling to Iron Mike. Oh, wait. If he'll let you. <laughs> come on, just help me get him back to Addy. Let's go. Come on, pal. I still need your help. <clears throat> Yeah, Boozer Ricky. Wait, where, where are we going? Addie said she's agreed to, to take a look at your arm and, and see what she can do. What? No. No, you're not taking me to some goddamn camp. I can ride, damn it. We're not sa Damn it, Boozer, it's just for a few days. Get some shit for your arm, and then... No. You know what it's like there, Deke. No, you're not thinking straight. This isn't the Hot Springs. This is Lost Lake. Iron Mike. Remember him? Iron Mike? Who's gonna get us killed? He said... That was a long time ago. They built the place up. They, they got more people. We're all gonna fucking die. We'll be long gone before anything like that happens. Camp's got the only dock in a hundred miles. Now, Addie, just look, she'll take care of it. Just, just a couple of days. Yeah, then we ride the hell out of here. Right north, like you said. Get the hell away from all this. Yeah. Yeah, we ride north. Leave all this shit behind. Okay, so I'm gonna go back and check on him and make sure he's okay. Coward. Yeah, you got that right. Well, how long? And until he can ride, I mean. You mean how long do you have to be here? Look, we have antibiotics, but it's not enough. If Iron Mike lets you stay, your friend will have a chance. So what happened? How'd he burn his arm like that? We ran into some rippers south of Belknap. Guess they didn't like his tattoos. Jesus. I've heard about him doing shit like that to themselves, but not to people they're trying to recruit. <sighs> Boozer wasn't any goddamn recruit. Well, guess Tucker should have made a deal with him like Iron Mike. Come on, Ricky. He just, he doesn't get it. Carlos isn't going to honor any deal with Lost Lake, not for long anyway, and Mike, he just doesn't see it. He sees more than you think. It's funny. You've always had your good side, Deke. Love you've it out here. You've just been doing your best to kill it. My husband and I <laughs> Thanks would for bring the, the kids every summer, go camping, fishing, and stuff like that. You know, get away from the city. Can't do a lot of camping on the east side of Portland, you know? We were out here. You cannot believe a word he is going to say. Addie is soft. 
Mike, we do not have enough for those that pull their own weight, let alone a goddamn cripple. He's not a cripple. He can work. He... I say we throw them out on their asses. Mike, that is not who we are. Jesus. Listen to you. And you. You tired of being Tucker's little bitch, finally? Raymond, huh? stop it! Don't call me that! I'm pretty tired, all right. All right, See? enough! See? You know who the fuck this guy is, and you know what he- You hold on! And you! You put that shit away. Mike, Deacon was I one that know. brought me the good- I know. And I know what kind of man he is. What he's done. He done any worse than you? Ricky? How about me? We've all been out in this shit, Schizo. We've all done things we're not proud of. We need another rider. Oh, now, wait a minute. I just need a few days and some antibiotics. Do whatever it takes. Sure, Mike. Whatever you say, I'm on board. Walk with me. I don't trust don't you. Don't start with me. So you're the one who brought them in. I didn't bring them in, Schizo. Boozer needed help. But he broke into the infirmary. The tackle shop isn't exactly. Ricky told me you stopped running you for Tucker. Fix that weeks ago. Sent that little girl oh, here instead. So You're up I'm with sorry I lied to you so before about doing runs box. for Tucker. How long you been drifting? No. You and Bill? I don't know. Like I said, time gets lost. If folks don't put down some roots, figure this shit out, grow some food, come next spring. Won't be none of us left. If you give Boozer what he needs, let us hole up here till he can ride. Like I said, I will do whatever you need. I just, I, I want you to know that as soon as he's patched up, we're gonna put together some gear, we're gonna ride north. North, huh? There's a camp up there near Smith Rock. Boozer's never been there. Got a lot of ghosts down here. It's time to move on. Fresh start, eh? Yeah, I can respect that. But go on. Leave me be. I got some thinking to do. Sure, Mike. Yeah, whatever you say. Just have Ricky radio me if you need something. Deacon, hey, is everything okay? What's wrong? Uh, actually, that's not why I'm here. Okay. Came by to see if there's anything you need for the uh, infirmary. 
Actually, we're running low on everything. I mean, we could always use more meds, sterile bandages, instruments. Uh, here. Hmm. A Liston knife. Yeah, it was used by doctors in the Civil War to perform operations in the field. Operations? Yeah, you know, when they didn't have any anesthesia or laudanum. I wrote down where you might be able to find one. <laughs> it's the brochure for the Visitor Center at Sherman Sherman's Camp. Sherman's Camp, yeah, yeah. The plate's crawling with all the freakers. I'll see what I can do. Yeah, uh, Deacon. Thank you. Head to Sherman's camp. The place is going to be crawling. Hey there. Hey, uh, I got to ask you. I heard you riding in last night with Ricky, and uh, who's that guy? Boozer. Or his name is William, or Bell. I've always just called him Boozer. Don't ask why. I wasn't... I mean, is he gonna be okay? I stopped by to say hi to Addy. He didn't look so good. Yeah, he's gonna be fine as soon as he's patched up. We're riding north, you got that? So just drop it, okay? Bye. Hello. <laughs> hey, none of my business, but I heard you were back. <laughs> didn't think that would happen. Uh, yeah. See ya. Hold on a sec. I'll open it. St. John. Copeland to Deacon St. John. We got a job for you. Hey, Copeland. Okay. Yeah, I'll stop by when I can. Deacon out. that yeah, 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 I know, okay, but first, you gotta do something for me. Wait, what? You need something from me? Look, there's a digital display on your radio. I'm going to send you a coded message, coordinates. Will you get that location? O'Brien, oh, what the hell is this all about? Just keep me there. Oh, oh shit, not now. Getting close. Here it is. Visitor's center. Gotta find a way inside. Another one. 
Yeah, time to light it up. escape down here not much left this place has been picked over clean yeah listen knife this is it gotta get it back to Addy Brian, is that you? Yes, y yeah, it's, it's O'Brien. You still have one of our radios, good. Okay, look, I'm gonna try and help you. Find out about the woman. Sarah Whitaker. I put her on your chopper that night. Y yeah, 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 I know, okay, but first, you gotta do something for me. What? <laughs> Wait, what? You need something from me? Brian, what the hell is this all about? Just meet me there. There will be Nero soldiers all around me like before. Just don't let them see you. Well, Brian out. Another nest. Let's go. 
I smell it. <clears throat> it's gotta be getting close. St. John, stop by the hot springs when you can. Tucker, I hear you. St. John out. <laughs> Should be clear now. Damn freaker nest. Should be safe to move through here now. I got that knife you were looking for. Thank you. You have no idea how bad the meaning is. No problem. Glad to help.
Hey, look. Someone's here. It's one of the biker boys. Open up. I used to be a cop, believe it or not. Farewell. I think we had a pretty good training equipment and all. They got bad. Hey. Oh. Here's that knife you were looking for. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Okay, I'll top you off. I'll be here if you need me. Yeah, yeah. One of the drifters. How's it going, Dee? I didn't think I'd see you around so much. Hey, you got something to say about it? St. John, I got a job for you. Cope. You want Manny to work on your bike? Only one way that's gonna happen. I gotta do runs for you. Yeah, I heard you. I need you to deal with a marauder camp near those burned-out shacks along the Cascade Highway. You know where I'm talking about? Yeah, I know it. Radio me if you want to know more. says you've been helping out around the camp. He won't say it, but he appreciates it. Manny, I'm still not happy with you. Wait a sec, I got it.
hope I'm heading to that drifter camp along the highway. What else can you tell me? Not much. They followed one of our supply runs. Got a little too close. I sent a man to check him out. He never came back. You sent anyone to find him? Yeah. A man named Deacon St. John. Cope out. Got this. No more. Just shut up. I'm cutting you loose. What? What? You're not. Copeland said me. Come on, get up. Oh, my God. That 
Thank you. Thank you. Come on. They were following us on the supply run. I didn't know what to do. Hey, shut up. Can you run? What? Yeah? Yeah? Well, then run. Go. Thank you. I'll tell Coco. Finally. Jesus. Open in the gate. Hey, Deke, good to see you. That bike of yours. Need some fuel? <laughs> you don't want to run out of fuel in the shit, that's for sure. Oh yeah, that's a good piece. This should last you for a while. I'll wrap that up for you. Yo, you need fuel? I'll be here. Last time I was on hey, the drop road. by next time. Hey, Deacon, I have something new. Last time. Damon. Ran into a pack of infected dogs. <laughs> You're back. Hey, haven't seen you around much lately. Thought maybe you'd gone up north without me. Jet. Hey, Deke. No, 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 I swear they were trying to get. knock me off. Just Working stay together. a little out there. You hear me? That's it. Deke, how have you been? Hey, Damon. How's the gun trade going? Do you think the freaks like, feel anything? I mean, I, I know they feel rage. Let me get the gate for you. I see. I found your man. Hope he's alive. He's okay. Barely. He's heading back to you on foot. You might want to send someone. I'll do that. Thank you, St. John. Copeland out. Hey, man. Hey, what's going on? What do you want? Deke, we got a problem. Yeah, Tuck. What's up? You remember Alki said that Rippers were spotted. Heading our way? Yeah, I remember. He said he didn't try to stop them. Well, we've seen him scouting the hot springs. A couple of men followed him back to their camp. 
in the cliffs south of the Twin Craters. Goddamn rivers. Don't worry about it, I'll take care of them. I got a score to settle. A score? What are you talking about? Yeah, ne never mind. You here for your bike? Hey, how's it going? See ya. Bye. Uh, hold on, I'll get the Get back to Iron Butte, wherever the fuck you come from. 
Come on! Come on! That damn three! You fucking rippers, none of you are getting out of here alive! Ah, shit, almost out. Fuck you, you wanna rest in peace? Let me help you out! Tucker, you there? You don't gotta worry about that Ripper camp no more. I took care of him, every last one of them. Nice job. Sounds like you did have a score to settle. Alkai said there's rumors going around that the Rippers are after the biker boys. <laughs> Let's just say they fucked with the wrong guy, Deacon out. St. John, this is Ada Tucker. Alkai wanted me to tell you that the camp is thankful for all the runs you've been doing. We need all the help we can get. Good.
bet you all thought I'd forgotten about you. Hmm? Yeah? This infestation zone. Don't worry, fellas, I'll be back later. Finish burning you out. this. Yeah! <laughs> 
What do we got? Scrap. this it should work Just burning out this infestation zone.
got to be close to a nest. Whew, I can smell it. Drifters. I've been pretty busy the past few days. Bet you're here for your bike, right? Hey, Zanny, keeping your hands clean. <sighs> Needs a tune-up. <clears throat> Hey, Deacon. What do you mean? Okay. Come on, get to it. Stop screaming. That's a good one. Get to work. Powerful. Good shot. You'll like this one. You could use a gun like that. Should keep you pretty safe out there. That right there. Good piece. What else can I do for you? Here you go. Need anything else?
Yeah, all right. I'll be here. I'll see you later, man. Bet you're here for your bike, right? How's it going, Zanny? It's okay. Open up. How's it going, D? Hey, Manny. We're never gonna finish this crap. Cool. Need anything else? Yep, always needing fuel. Drifter life. See you around, Deke. Murderers and thieves.
All right, I'm here. Jesus, don't... Don't sneak up on me like that. Did you find anything out about Sarah, about the woman that I put on your chopper? Nothing. Nothing? Hey, hey, wait, 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 wait. It's gonna take some time, okay? I'm risking my neck here. If anyone the, the back at HQ finds out, uh, the, those guys with the guns over there, You're they, they'll all order the without same question. Team, oh, look, it just looks that way. Look, I don't have time to explain it right now, but it's why I need your help. My help? Just, look, just take it. It's a, it's a wavelength recorder and some GPS trackers. I just need you to... We're out of time. Look, I... Shit, I don't even know your name. Deacon, Deacon St. John. Look, Deacon St. John, if you want me to risk my neck helping you find whatever her name, uh, Sarah, then, yeah, I'm gonna need you to do something for me. Let's go. Keep the radio close. I'll contact you in a couple of minutes. You don't even know my name? Oh, you're gonna know it before we're done, O'Brien. And keep the radio close. It's been right here the whole time, you son of a bitch. Jesus Christ, how long do I have to wait now? Hello? Are you there, Deacon? Yeah, I'm here. Now, what's this all about? What do you want? All right, I put a blocker on this channel. It's secure. What do you want? I've sent a series of coordinates to your radio. I need you to go to those locations. What? Why? Then why don't you ask them? I can't. Look, I said it's a long story, and I don't have time to get into it right now. Let's just say the men above me, way above me, are running a lot of field missions, all separate from each other. Nobody knows what anyone else is doing. So the world ends, and you assholes carry on like nothing's changed. Where? I sent you the coordinates. Okay, Jesus, over. Right. All right, I will see what I can do. LZs, landing sites, sample drop-off locations. Yeah, yeah, I got it, but you better have something for me, O'Brien. Yeah, yeah, I got it, too. Hold on. Sneak into an LZ filled with heavily armed Kevlar wearing soldiers who shoot on sight so that you can spy on some asshole on a pocket protector. Pocket protector? Really? I have a fucking PhD, asshole. Yeah, which stands for piled high and deep. Do you still have the tracking devices I gave you? Well, I was gonna sell them, but most of us don't have access to shit like, you know, satellites. Place one of them on their helo. Almost all of these filed missions include stops that aren't on the books. I'm gonna find out where they're going next. Yes, it O'Brien. I double check. No, you don't need to ask. I'm already looking into what records we have about where evacuees were taken. O'Brien out. <sighs> this has gotta be it. What the hell are you guys doing out here?
time. Hope we got enough fuel to get back. Going all over hell and back today. Fuel is the least of our problems. We're all around. Stay focused. What the hell are we doing out here anyway? What you told? says we're done. Something's out there. What the hell, O'Brien? What's wrong? I'll tell you what's wrong. Your boys were carving out the guts of a freak while it was still alive. They're not like us always. And what do you care? Aren't you a... What do you guys like to call yourselves? Drifters? Don't you kill them infected for money or whatever shit you barter with? Yeah, I kill freaks, but I don't carve them open while they're still alive and listen to them scream. Yeah, I got your data. Stay okay, okay, okay. shoot! I'm leaving. while I was still alive. They're not my boys. What do you care? Aren't you a... What do you guys like to call yourselves? Drifters? Don't you kill them infected for money or whatever shit you barter with? Yeah, I kill freaks, but I don't carve them open while they're still alive and listen to them scream. Did you get my data? Yeah, I got your data. Okay, I'm uploading it now. I'll be in touch. O'Brien out. Brian? O'Brien! Oh, God damn it, he did it again. O'Brien, oh, talk to me. Ah, shit, you better be in touch, O'Brien. Oh, 